on the next video we are going to start creating the textiles for buttons and input fields it's almost the same idea but it's like a there's a lot of like different stuff that you have to organize things that you have to keep in mind when you are doing the textiles is always keep everything organized we name all the layers to help you use the plugins we name it and the style generator so this is gonna help you to create a little bit faster everything i like to create the light and dark mode also since the beginning and always pay attention how you are aligning the text styles just to make sure everything is gonna be perfect what i like to do i create another folder usually and uh, let me just copy this atomic icon here and i use another for buttons and uh, another folder for forms okay pretty much i'm gonna follow the same basic structure but for forms and buttons instead of using the playfair font i'm gonna use the rubik font that i selected before right here let's start just creating here one artboard desktop hd and i'm gonna start typing here hello you cannot read because it's too light let me just change the color and this is gonna be 16 for the input fields in this case i'm gonna use 16 and uh, i'm gonna change this to rubik you have here one of the textiles i'm gonna just add buttons slash and uh, you can use like this as a label that's gonna be easier uh, to remember and you can use this one as placeholder let's start doing first the buttons to the buttons i have like a, a pretty much simple approach but later of course when you start designing more and more screen maybe you need to create different text styles but to just to start i think the easiest way to do is just creating uh, one button usually the perfect shape for a button is starting like on 16 uh, is the uh, is a good size uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just create a, a shape here and uh, this shape is gonna be our button, just a fake button just to make a measurement I'm gonna just make a, this is a rounded corner like a, maybe 8 and I'm gonna remove the border delete this border and I'm gonna change the color, okay? this uh, if you already have the color because you created the layer style, it's fine. So you can just connect with this one. This is going to be my label on the top of this one. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just change the color here. It's going to be white. Let me just change a little bit this color. A little bit more strong white. Uh, sometimes I like to use like a medium or like a more bold because it's gonna be better to to read for for the user and also another thing that sometimes always depend how you're gonna design this you can use like this option to transform and make all the buttons already uppercase if you want to do that otherwise it's fine you can just leave like this and maybe you can just change the space between the letters a little bit 0 0.8 will be i think it's good a good number okay so this is gonna be our label you can rename it as label and this should be centered here not to the right not to the left because it's gonna resize automatically to you just to know exactly the space between this i just create like a guideline usually what I like to do, I just create like a, a square or like a rectangle shape and I'm just double check here and just remove the border to make it easier. This should be 18. Oh, it's 18 already. Good. 
So you see like this is 18 and you see the border of the textile. I'm gonna duplicate this one. This should be on this one more to the top. So this is the perfect size 18, 18. And this should be on the side. On the side should be 32. So let me just move around a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna just place here 32. And this is gonna be 32 on the right side also. So if you have this, you have everything organized here. And I'm gonna resize a little bit, resize a little bit. Usually I like just to group this because I can just hide. So to group, just command G and it's gonna group the four layers. And you can hide here out really fast. So you can just have an idea. Okay, this is gonna be my first textile for buttons. So this is gonna be buttons uh, label and uh, you can just use as a primary like this. Okay. And uh, for the second one, what, I'm, what I like to do, uh, let me just duplicate everything here. I'm gonna just delete this one for now. Uh, I'm gonna just select everything here and I'm gonna duplicate command D and I'm gonna just bring here. What's gonna happen, for example, when you have like a form? Let me just hide this and this. For example, if you have this instead of label, it's something like a submit. Uh, this will be canceled and uh, you don't have the background here oops not here but this one you don't have this background usually so you need to find out another color for this but maybe it's gonna be just a regular like a gray color something like this could be rgb 100 100 100 and that's it okay so you have like a, these two different buttons labels that you have to create this is gonna be my primary and this is gonna be like a secondary secondary color so you can just create both of them in this case mostly everything's gonna be on the center so you don't need to create the different alignment for each one so I'm just gonna select this layer and this layer and uh, just go to plugin style generator and i'm gonna just create these two new components i'm going just to go here you have the light and dark mode and you have the button so you have the primary and the secondary so when you need to use you just select this and of course all these textiles is going to be inside your button symbol and everything is going to be connected and this is how atomic design concept works you already learned this a little bit uh, when we did uh, another exercise but this is pretty much important how you're gonna connect the textiles to the symbols and once you have to update everything is gonna be updated let's go back to the layers and now we are gonna create the forms the form is going to take a little bit more uh, time to, to do that because you have to create different type of labels for that. So let's start creating an artboard here, uh, this desktop HD. And you have to remember that is like a, the anatomy of a form is like a, for an input field, for example, is going to be some different sizing for fonts. So I'm going to create just a fake input field i'm gonna just r and rectangle and i'm gonna create uh, i'm gonna remove the fill on the back and the border i'm gonna be a little bit more lighter like this and let me zoom in and i'm gonna re uh, change the radius here okay so you can just follow here that is like eight on this case like the button that we did but this is gonna be our forms once we have this we have like a different information that we we are gonna start using I'm gonna press T and I'm gonna just start typing so we have the label here usually uh, I'm gonna just reset this spacing and the 
paragraph is the full string. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate this here and I'm gonna just add this as italic, medium italic. I'm gonna duplicate this one also and rename this as a placeholder. But this is on the left. I need to make sure this is gonna be on the left and this two also to the left. And by the end, I have just error messages like this. And probably this one, you don't need to use 16. You can use 14 to be a little bit smaller. And this is gonna be the optional. So we have right now, currently we have at least four different text styles to create. The error, uh, if you already have like a kind of like a different color for your head color, you can just add here. For now we don't have, I'm gonna just select one of these. To the placeholder, I just remove the opacity like this. That is easy to, to manage. And the label could be 80% sometimes of the color that we select. Once I duplicate this one here, imagine that I already typed my email like this, Juno. Now that I already typed my email, probably this is going to be a hundred percent. Okay. So you have like this. Uh, anatomy of how to do this. So basically you have one, two, three, four, five different text styles. Okay. So this one, it's going to be this, uh, for sure. If you have a light mode, this is going to be a light and you can just use as a label. And this is going to be light optional. Right. Uh, and you have the light placeholder placeholder like this and you have the light air horn in this case you already have all the form uh, all the four different ones and you have the last one this one is gonna be the light you can just add as a default of course, like this is not going to be really organized. So after the light, if you come here, you have a specific category inside the light. So uh, I just add form. So I'm going to select all of these and just to make it like a quickly, I'm going to rename all the layers and I'm going to just add the light slash uh, and I'm going to add light slash forms slash now we have all this one two three four five already renamed i'm gonna just select all of them once we have all five selected and i'm gonna create the text styles using the style generator right here perfect and you go back to the components here and here on the light you have the form text styles already organized it okay pretty much is this and at least now you have everything organized for headings body buttons forms okay hope you guys like this simple tutorial but at least you will understand how to organize your text styles for forms and buttons of course for input fields and forms there's a lot of things that we have to organize because it's not only input field but you have like a radio buttons you have like a checkbox you have drop downs a lot of those stuff i'm gonna do another tutorial just doing specific forms but for now i think the main idea is only about text styles and that's the most important part that you have to understand right now thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.